doing for you guys? What, you guys went about a seven minute stretch there in the second half without making a, a basket. What, what kind of went into some of the offensive walls today? Uh, just, we just being careless with the ball, uh, not, not, not being focused on offense, uh, not running our plays, not running our stuff. Uh, wasn't, didn't have our heads in the, in the right spot at that time. So, I mean, we just tried to get re refocus very fast and get back right. And like John said, uh, I think it starts with defense. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes on defense, and I think we let that carry into our offense. And uh, we just have to grow from that stage. We just grow from that. I mean, we're 20 some odd games in the season. We got to grow from that and be more mature. Yeah. Guys, when you're back to the starting lineup today, I guess what was the motivation in the second half? I think you started, you know, really sharp. Uh, 14 or 16 points came in the second half. What was working for you today, personally? I just wanted to win. Uh, I mean, I don't want to let my team down. I'm just, I feel like I had to find a trash in the first half and just let my team down. And I just wanted to win. At the end of the day, it's really all I ever wanted to do is just win. You guys have been close in a couple of these games recently, not the Auburn game as much, but the, in the final minute, minute, minute and a half. Uh, what went wrong thing today? Uh, I think there was some missed free throws, but what was going on the floor? Uh, you know, just, just just not being focused, like I said. Uh, we was being careless, uh, bad defensive plays, uh, slips. I mean, uh, we just really wasn't, our ball movement wasn't there today. So, I mean, uh, all correctable errors, we're going to get back to practice and just try to fix everything that we messed up on today. Yeah, like JP said, it's, they're all practical errors. Uh, it just came down to, I think, at the end of the day, it was just defense. Uh, they kind of got on a little run, and I think we got that out in our head. And um, when they get on a run, I don't know, we just couldn't uh, stop their run. So that kind of affected the game. <coughs> Arkansas played a little bit of zone, and obviously Auburn played some zone, too, on, uh, on Tuesday and gave you guys some issues. What What do you think was you guys' are struggles against the zone today? Uh, I mean, I think at first we just were, we were uncertain with what we wanted to run and what uh, sets would work for them. But I think as the game uh, progressed, we got more comfortable with it. Uh, we can't really start off slow like that next time. We face a zone. Assuming the next time we play, we'll probably play a zone just because it's worth two games in a row. So, uh, I mean, we just got to be smarter, take care of the ball, and take our shots when we're open. Last two. Did you guys feel like Arkansas was the more physical team? Uh, no, I, I, feel, I feel like we, we were we were pretty physical and we were more physical. I just feel like we gave up on a lot of transition transition buckets. Uh, we got our rebound that we didn't box out. Uh, so uh, like I said, I mean, all correctable errors, but it started with our defense. It, it slacked at times and, and it gave them more energy and more boost on their offense. Yeah, hey John, their their guard Jones, 23, had been in a shooting slump. What did he show up on the scouting report for y'all, and what what did you see from him tonight? Uh, on the scouting report, he showed up as uh, one of their best shooters. Uh, you know, every shooter goes in the slump, like myself. But, I mean, you still got to respect him. So, uh, he came out tonight, he made a couple threes. So, we tried to shut him out as best as we could. Awesome. Gentlemen, I'd like to ask you about one of your teammates. How would both of you describe Collins' impact on the team's success? Uh, he has a big impact. I mean, you see him play, he's uh, fierce. He always, has, he always brings it every night. Uh, he just has an edge to him that is contagious to the team. So, I mean, we're all down. I was down at halftime. He just said, hey, come on. You got like, you play, you play basketball before. Just come on, pick it up. So, I mean, just having a guy like that, it helps when you're down, have situations when you're down and stuff like that. Yeah, like Bryce just said, I mean, you, you, you got to, it's not like you just can't not pay attention to him. I mean, somebody you have to play, and he draws a lot of attention, and it, and it really opens up our offense. Uh, He's smart with the ball. He makes a lot of great plays. He, he's very crafty. So, I mean, that's a big part of our offense. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.